Hi guys. Basically, we're going to teach you today on how to do your wormery. So, this is how it will look like after. This is how it will look like after. Obviously, you need this mug to dry, so you want to leave the bucket in there for two or three days. Um, so in the hole, I'll take this out. So it's a wormery. So there's a hole. I'll take this out and show you. That's what the hole will look like. Oh, we're playing packets. Um, this is what the hole looks like. So you really you want it about two foot wide, and about a foot, a uh, foot wide, sorry, and two foot long. And then you just keep digging. Yeah. You literally want a bucket about as big as this. Cut the, just cut a millimeter off, or two millimeters off the bottom, so the worm can come quickly. You want to get another bucket and put water in it and literally anyway so you scoop off bits of mud like that or even with sticks and everything like that and you put them in the bucket with water and uh, it should turn into mortar if after you need to stir it for about two two and a half minutes maybe a minute and a half and then We've, we've got, we've literally done everything from scratch. So we've got everything we've got, near enough everything we've got, apart from the bait box and um, that orange bowl the and the coke we've found pretty much, I including the sand, paint. So basically, this was an abandoned garden pretty much. So we found concrete slabs. Um, so what I've done is I've dug a hole from about, I'd say about three in the afternoon. It's now five past six in the afternoon. So it's took me three hours, no, two, two and a half hours mate, nearly, to do this lot and throw all the shit over that way. My, my language, but. Um, anyway, so I put, put a couple, couple of bits of slabs in my uh, roofing piles underneath, uh, underneath it. Yeah. So that's all concrete under there, got a slab in. And then what I've done was I've scooped up some dirt and then put it around pocket and then got to leave it for two days and it's done. The one we've done. Over here. Oh yeah, by the way, this is a compost pile. Oh, it's for compost. I don't know if it's specified. We're um, going to be using this to hold a couple of these trees out of there. We're going to be using it as a compost pile. So I haven't really d dug this out properly yet. This is only a little miniature one. But we're doing it over here so it don't get in the way of our wormery. Now we are going to have, we are keeping an eye out for another bucket. And we will have a wormery about. So we're going to have it this wide. Well, it's something company back, but we're going to have it this wide. And about from there, tip my trainer to about here. Where the shovel is now. And you're literally the same again, you don't want to be going too mad with the shovel. You only need to go about a foot, maybe two foot deep. And for those that are missing our um, rickets and like this like say gardening, this is something you should get into. Especially if you love fishing. It's a cheaper way of buying uh, getting worms and it's a lot better way of getting worms. I mean, of course, uh, nearly everything we've got is free. It might cost you money. I mean, we've got some worms in there from earlier. Whilst digging them holes, they are alive. They're just sleeping by the looks of it. <laughs> They've completely knotted themselves. Big catch. Amino dip. Sweet, sweet vanilla. And we found some of these very stinky, pungent. Oh, God. Edits. That's too stinky. So I'll be running through my baits tomorrow, so I'm going fishing tomorrow, so we'll see. Oh yeah, in this video we'll show the pictures that were never showed, because I forgot to edit them in, because I was lazy. So tomorrow there will be pictures. Oh wait, that's wet still. Oh, oh yeah, this is a cover, just to make sure if anybody does come in there, it's a natural looking cover. And of course there probably will still be a bit more paint 
on there just to hold bigger mounds so it's not showing all the way through. Mate, how does it feel that um, anybody that looks on our video will see your shirtless body? <laughs> so we're just going to clean up the sand and then... Yeah, the sand's going to get cleaned up. Um, we are going to post updates on this, because at the moment we've only got the compost heap, the outline of another compost heap, a wormery hole, so we've got two wormery holes, and then... These are just to attract worms and then this of course we're just gonna see how well it does how well another compost heap will do over here. And we're gonna line that compost heap with that slab just to make it easier. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs> so yeah anyway our pictures will play after